Hello everyone, and just yesterday the 45th episode of Skibbity Zombie Multiverse came out, and I'm ready to analyze it for you now as well as find all its secrets and easter eggs that you could definitely miss on your own watch. And although this episode was not packed with insane action sequences to the brim, as the previous ones that Monster Up released, it still has something to surprise you a lot. Are Plungerman and Speakerman really working together now? And what consequences can it bring in the future of the series? And what new technologies both the Alliance and the Speakerman's race are about to explore together? Is Skibbity Scientist really back now? And what's so controversial about his appearance that Monster Up even planned to change it in the next episode? And most importantly, will we actually see Titan Siren back and how the heck can he even be brought to this world once again after everything that was done to him before? If you want to know the answers to all these questions, then get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end. Because I saved the best part for later as always. And let's go! But before I'll start digging into episode 45, let me remind you real quick about the events of the previous episode so you won't get too confused about what has actually been going on. So in the previous episode, we see the continuation of the initial plot between the Plague Doctor, Red Titan Drill Man, and Zombie Titan Speaker Man. So Dave actually planned to betray the Red Titan's trust all along and infect him with his zombie virus instead, not knowing about the immunity of that Titan and his ability to conquer the virus. But before commanding Zombie Titan Speakerman to bite Drillman and make him infected, Dave provides him with the Genesis Core from Titan Siren, which Drillman destroyed earlier in that series and took the green core out of his body. Which wasn't that wise to say the least, because then it's getting revealed to us that Red Titan Drillman cannot be fully infected so that Dave could control him just like all the other zombies. So we're getting shown how the infection tries to reach and possess the metal bowels of the Titan, but his original entity from the Dom Studios multiverse rejects the virus and the whole infection simply isn't happening. So right now, Red Drillman is already equipped with the Genesis Core, but also shows resistance due to the virus as he is not a blind puppet of Dave, which goes not according to the Plague Doctor's plan at all. Then Red Drillman gets enraged and retaliates by biting into Zombie Speakerman's neck, tearing off one of his limbs in the process. Meanwhile, Dave, who is terrified by Red Drillman's rage, tries to escape, but Drillman catches him and prepares to unleash his new Genesis powers. Just as Drillman is about to destroy Dave, the Plague Doctor uses his powers to summon the infected Demogorgon TV Man, which attacks Drillman and distracts him long enough both for Dave and Zombie Titan Speaker Man to escape. Red Drillman then demonstrates a new ability granted by the Genesis Core, as he can now steal the abilities of his enemies permanently, as evidenced by his consumption of the infected TV Man's powers. And Drillman's stolen ability manifests as a new limb resembling the maw of the TV Man. And all this showcases how Dave's plan backfired spectacularly. So not only did he fail to fully infect Red Drillman, but he also empowered him with the Genesis Core's abilities, creating a formidable enemy for himself. Meanwhile, Plungerman, Speaker Woman, and a group of Speakerman survivors are aboard a shuttle. But some survivors turn out to be infected who create chaos and damage the shuttle. A dramatic sequence unfolds with Plungerman falling out and holding for his dear life on one of the cargoes. And on this dramatic note, we're getting to the new part of the saga. Okay, so now when your memory is refreshed and you're all set and ready, episode 45 is already on your screens. But before I'll dive into actual analysis, let me remind you to give this video a like and subscribe to my nice. channel if you like the content I'm making because I really appreciate your support. Okay, so if you are subscribed now, let's get back to the episode. And it starts with Plungerman falling from the shuttle with no jetpack on him. And well, this is not the best situation to be in to say the least. But it also turns out that Plungerman is quite high up in the sky, so he has a little bit of time to search around and come up with something before his hard landing, if you know what I mean, of course. So after a few seconds of searching, he notices his jetpack floating somewhere below him, and Air dives right to it in order to reach it and save himself. And this whole scene actually reminded me of this shot from the movie adaptation called Uncharted with Tom Holland, where he also fell out of the plane and had to come up with some plan to save himself as well by grabbing some objects in the air. So when Plungerman finally reaches the jetpack, he finds out that his jetpack is actually broken and can't be used as intended. And by the way, there was also a reference to a Russian YouTuber named Tipsan in this scene who is recording his reactions to Zombie Skibidi Universe. 
And then we also see the images of three more Skibidi YouTubers whose names are Just Cozy, Chatterbox, and Steven Z Killer. Okay, and then we see how one of the infected speakermen tries to grab Plunger Man in the air as well, so he automatically pushes the freak away while throwing the failed jetpack at him. So now Plunger Man is just left with nothing in the air, but it's too early to give up. So he clings to the falling cargo instead, because it was not just a box, but a robo suit for a speakerman hidden inside. But speaking of speakerman, the zombie freak who terrorized Plungerman earlier isn't actually gone for good, so he tries to interrupt our hero once again and make his life even harder. So two of them start fighting in the air again, and in that moment we can notice another reference to a YouTube creator named Guy Walker, who is a famous Thailand YouTuber. And we can see another creator we already know quite a lot about who is chasing Skylar. Okay, but then Plungerman finally manages to get off his annoying stalker and finally gets into the robotic suit from Avatar the movie. And after that, we see a really cool shot from the mechanic suit POV, which really reminded me of such games as Titanfall and Armored Core 6. And well, we can ever hear the Titanfall soundtrack playing in the background in that moment. So in the next couple of seconds, we see how cool it actually is to be in the middle of the battle while staying inside such a suit, as you're getting basically untouchable at this point. Well, by the common enemies, at least. This suit has both the robotic fist to literally one-shot the regular zombies, as well as his powerful machine guns to take care of the distance targets with ease, too. And by the way, we also saw how the POV Plunger Man handled Zombie Speaker Strider, which was a great menace to the Speaker Men in robotic suits an episode before. Okay, and then we see how another Speaker Man in the mecha suit joined Plunger Man's company, and this is the third time already when Speaker Men are working in a collaboration with the Alliance's agents, which is really nice to see considering all their quarrels in the past. Well, and then after one tense skirmish, I saw something really interesting. Those zombies who were damaged by Plungerman's machine gun became literally transparent as if they came from Super Hot Game, and then the sign content deleted appeared right next to them. And then, as you can guess, all of them start disappearing completely as if they literally were deleted from real world. And it seems to me that Plungerman was just as shocked as I was. So he looks to his fellow speakerman's side like he was trying to ask him, Hey dude, was it us who deleted those guys with our bullets? To which speakerman answers by saying, We don't have such technology. And that got me thinking. What if it was the plague doctor himself who summoned all of his minions back from the distance? Because now, when he literally turned Red Drill Man against him, he needs all his war resources ASAP, as his position is really shaky right now. But that's just my theory at this point. Okay, and then we see the infected big speaker man heading towards our way, so it's time for a pretty unnecessary but awesome looking melee fight. So Plunger Man rips the road post from the ground and starts beating the heck out of the infected speaker man. And even though this fellow was pretty durable, he couldn't show a proper fight against the guy with the road post as this weapon is apparently too OP. And this whole fight also heavily reminded me of that scene from the fifth Terminator movie called Dark Fate, where the main character fought a similar opponent with long, sharp limbs. Okay, but then after this confusing battle sequence, something really damn bizarre happens. Plungerman hears an ugly roar from the distance and turns around to check what the hell is going on. And this is no other than Skibidi Scientist? And well, if you guys forgot about this guy completely already and don't even remember where we saw this guy the last time, and how exactly did he reappear in this episode, let me refresh your memory real quick. So as we know, the Skibidi Scientist zombie puppet was defeated by G-Man, who was enforced with the power of Hephaestus Core. So all the Titans of the Alliance thought at the time, that zombie Skibidi scientist was defeated for good and they'd never see him again. Because it is well known that those zombies who were destroyed by one of the four special cores aren't meant to come back. But the thing is that it was only the giant zombie puppet of the scientist which was destroyed while the real scientist somehow managed to escape the same fate and stayed it alive. And later in the series, we saw how the real Skibidi scientist escaped his puppet with a safety pod jumping into the air. And to tell you even more, G-Man also noticed this but said nothing to his fellow Titans. Because apparently he still considered Skibidi scientist his friend and wanted not to destroy him, but find a cure from zombie virus for him instead. And after Skibidi scientist escaped, he reached the Plague Doctor's lair once again, where he had to go through some terrible experiments once again. And I even made a separate analysis of the secret scene where Skibidi Scientist was tortured by the Plague Doctor's hallucinations on my channel. And what we learnt from this secret scene 
was that Skibidi scientist still seemed to save some bits of his original personality and self-consciousness, and that he is still fighting the virus in his body. And he also remembers his old fellow G-Man, which was pretty sweet in my opinion. But unfortunately, the Plague Doctor's powers are still way too strong, so Skibidi scientist succumbs to his manipulations in the end. And after those horrible experiments ended, Skibidi Scientist got infected with the new strain of zombie virus just as Titan TV Man and Zombie Drill Man. So Scientist got the Scorpion strain and was sent on the battlefield by Dave again, apparently to test his new abilities. And that's why the new Skibidi Scientist zombie form looks like a literal scorpion and not like a toilet. But I must be honest with you guys here, because he is still looking pretty damn bizarre to me. And his new design doesn't really fit the general vibe of Monster Up's universe as well. And apparently I wasn't the only one who got a similar impression. I noticed how lots of Monster Up subscribers voiced out an opinion like that as well. And that's why the creator of Skibidi Zombie series wrote the following message in the comment section right after the episode was released. We like our viewers, weren't entirely satisfied with the design of the scientist, so we've decided to change it. In the next episode, you'll see him in a new look. We promise you'll like it. So I really get where the creator was coming from with that decision, and I also cannot wait to see the refreshed design of Skibidi Scientist in the next episode. And what I'm also eager to see is what new abilities the Scorpion Zombie Strain opened for him besides the giant scorpion's claws. And then Skibidi Scientist also roars once again, and his shout sounds exactly like the Godzilla's roar. And after that, we're switching to a completely different location, which is the Speakerman's base after it got raided by the Plague Doctor and later blown up by Titan Cameraman's bomb. And we can see it after some time, which passed since its destruction, when the flames already settled down a bit. And we can see the body of the completely wrecked up Titan Siren, who got ripped in two halves by Red Titan Drillman previously in this series, and his Genesis core was also taken from him. So now I can definitely say that all was left of Titan Siren is one huge pile of lifeless metal. But apparently Titan Cameraman doesn't share my opinion. So he returned to this exact place and took the separated head of Titan Siren to his hands. And that's how episode 45 ended. And well, I guess that he plans to deliver remains of Titan Siren to the Alliance's base and still try to recover him somehow. And previously we saw how Skibidi Toilets also gathered the remains of the destroyed zombie Titan Drillman so I guess the Alliance definitely has some plan for those damaged Titans which used to serve the Plague Doctor. And that was all for today. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so you will not miss my new cool videos. And also don't forget to leave your comment about what you think will happen in the future episodes of Skibidi Zombie series. Because I'm always interested in what you guys have to say. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!